than 20 students lost their life today after a two-story building collapsed in the early hours of Friday in 11 a.m. This collapse happened in the community in Plateau State. Gusabuji, a community in Plateau State, is facing one of the worst accidents that has ever occurred to mankind. A two-story building housing over 200 students is said to have collapsed in the early hours of today by 11 a.m. Rescuers are trying their best to see how many students they can rescue. But as I'm talking to you right now, over 20 students have sadly lost their life. And the saddest part of this whole collapse is that a family of six is said to have died. And this is a sad, sad reality. Four siblings who were attending today during the school collapse were said to have lost their life. Upon hearing the news, the mother fell down and also lost her life. Upon the news getting to the father, the, the father also fell down and lost his life. Guys, this is a sad reality that we are facing. One of the issues I have with this whole collapse is that you can see in this picture, renovation are ongoing. Why are students still attending? Why, are, why is the building still in use if renovations are still ongoing? See, from one section of the house, you can see the roof looking so shiny but on the other section that fell down you can see the roof it is outdated so why is the government of plateau state or why is the community leaving students leaving school children to attend a school in a classroom in a house in a home that is still being renovated guys i have to say it's a sad story that hit the uh, the community of butsabuji in plateau state the owner of the building should be arrested that is all I have to say. The owner of this building should be arrested. Because tell me why you leave a school that is still going through renovation and you allow students to come to school. It's, it's, it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing, guys. It is a sad thing to report. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It is all lost on this place. Oh, my God.